both the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition held this joint press conference, a show of solidarity. Out of the eight political parties in Sweden, only two small ones, including the Greens, have opposed this move. It will alter the strategic balance of power in Europe. Some military analysts are saying that it will give NATO almost total control over the Baltic Sea. There have been some concessions. Sweden says it won't have NATO bases on its territory, and nor would it allow nuclear weapons to be based there. Now, Sweden's Prime Minister Magdalena Andersson told Parliament, we're living in a new and dangerous reality. Let's hear more about what she had to say. With a Swedish NATO membership, the threshold for military conflicts will be heightened in Sweden and in the region. The common conflict prevention force will be strengthened in Northern Europe and thereby strengthen security for Sweden and the Swedish people. Now that Finland has also said that they will apply for NATO membership, Sweden would alone outside of NATO be in a very vulnerable position. So the best for Sweden and the Swedish people's security is that we join NATO and that we do this together with Finland. Here in Finland, they've said they will join NATO, but it does need a parliamentary vote. There's very little opposition to it here. About 80% of the population are in favor of joining NATO. Now, uh, the Prime Minister, Sanna Marin, said NATO membership is an act of peace. It's about war never returning to Finland. There could be a vote as early as Tuesday and then Finland and Sweden will both put their joint applications in at the same time. But it's only the first stage. All 30 existing members of NATO will have to approve this. And Turkey's president, Tayyip Erdogan, has said he's not happy with the change and may oppose it. He's worried the concerns he's raising is about Kurds living and based in Finland and Sweden. There is even some Kurds in the, in the Swedish parliament. Um, what we're going to see now, both countries have announced that, that, that they will be sending diplomatic delegations to the Turkish capital, Ankara, in the next couple of weeks. Michael Voss, CGTN, Helsinki.